Wow, this guy's avoiding us. Avoiding you? Yeah, you just walked around the table. Do you want me to say hi to strangers or something? That's not what my mom taught me. Your mother sounds incredibly wise. Well, you say that, but then want me to say hello to strangers? I don't know what type of people you are. You could be in a malicious gang. You have to take risks in life regardless. Uh, that's the only way you can get ahead. And uh, yeah, that's a flattering thought. Uh, thank you, but we are hardly that important. You look well dressed to come back from work. I don't know about that. A few people would call what I do work. <laughs> So, what is it that you do? Oh, you know, I talk to strangers for a living and never about anything deep and meaningful. Uh, at heart, I'm very much lonely. Wife uh, considers that slowly. What are you people doing here this late? Ophelia studies the troll quietly. Why are you studying me quietly? Please do so audibly, I'm getting anxious. I mean, what do people usually do in a tavern? We're just having a drink and shooting this shit, uh, as one does. Well, that makes sense. Your anxiety is on you. I don't think anyone is responsible for that. Perhaps this guy can be your new project, Rifa. Hmm? Project? I feel like I have more work to do in this guy than Kiho. What the hell is that? supposed to mean he seems self-aware though that's always a plus well Kiho was successful kind of what I, what are you a therapist? Ryfer makes a 50-50 gestures with his hand. He has been called that by some. My anxiety is skyrocketing. Elf. Hmm? Ah, nothing. Your kind just make me anxious. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, sorry? Always so judgmental to us trolls like we destroyed your cities or something. But, but, well, are you not casting a judgment there yourself? I've got nothing against trolls. You are smarter than you look undead. You got me. Checkmate. Checkers. Bullseye. Field goal. Goal! Mm, I guess I really did get you after all that. I know a lot of elves can't favor their own, though. I don't hold it against them. Hmm, that's... You are empathic. No, she's not trust me. <laughs> what? She seems just fine. Royfa is full of shit, he knows it. Make of that what you will. She isn't wrong, it's my defining quality. But honestly, undead are quite a bit more trustworthy than elves, am I right, mate? Nudge, nudge. Wink, wink. Royfa makes a 50-50 gesture. Ah, you didn't fall for my trap. You are truly smart. No, undead can be pretty fucking stupid. Uh, some are blessed with humor and uh, retain a degree of function that I had in life. Uh, others, well... Wait, is it not this troll who I kicked in the crown jewels? Who? 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 who are you? You? Me? You or me? So that's why he's so anxious? <laughs> what? No. Oh, you're the one I kicked in the crown jewels, no? Um, you think someone who got kicked in the balls will remember that? Would you care for a drink? I'm happy to make you something might ease your nerves. I don't know if a drink by an undead would make me less anxious. Maybe it hurts so much you forgot. <laughs> well, you only live once, right? Sure. Do it. Also, are you sure that wasn't my colleague? I've had a few over the years. Soul, soul, soul. Bare chest? Mm, no. Did he have a tux like I? Yes, yet one was broken. One was broken. Mm. Oh wait, you mean your costume? Costume? Excuse me? I'm the most dapper troll in the kingdom. Dapper? Look at this luxurious tux. Handmade by only the finest of gnome slaves. Um, your suit I mean. Sorry, I'm a bit tired this evening. Aha. Uh -huh. Did you kick me in the balls? Are we sure about that? Ophelia looks at you. How come I don't remember? You don't remember if she did? Well, you look rather similar, so maybe. Similar? Wear your green goggles? Green goggles? Port News Association? What is- he's taking my entire brand? Go away. What? What the hell, man? Look at him. He's just a- he kicks so- Green goggles? That's that goddamn fraud Kexul. You elf are my new best friend for kicking that fraudulent bastard in the nutsack. Oh, he spit it on me because I told him I only heard about a reporter named Sulkak. My god, I don't believe in love at first sight. But this, after that I kicked him in the nuts. <laughs> I'm becoming emotional. Um, okay. I need to sit down. This'll do. Uh, on the table? Well, we trolls never sit in our eyes anyway. Y you don't? No, we are big into destroying our knee joints. Bet they do squats to work on those butt cheek muscles, you know? Oh, you know it. Something was going on outside the city further down in Neversong, from what I heard. Dra Dragly yoinks a book, waves at Ophelia. Wait. Oh, oh. Oh, there he is again. Why is he yoinking books, though? Wait, he just walked out with another book. Why can't I read these? Now he's here again. Oh, is this some kind of crime spree? Just stealing books left and right? No, it's me trying to read a book. Comes off as you stealing every entry to a 10-part series. Also, don't find a bear painted yellow and do not call it Fred. Ah, ah, ah. Yes, of course. Rifa? What happens to that drink? Here. Rifa presents the reporter a tapered looking mojito. It's a little cold, but that's how it's best. Solkak tastes the mojito and sniffs it just to be sure. Thank you. Is this guy your friend? And why is he talking about yellow painted bears named Fred? What? Who's, who the hell is that? Sneaky Yif? Yif? Uh, uh, are you that report? Uh, well, Para gives me nervous tendencies. Well, that's not nice. Everyone makes you nervous, don't they? Well, everybody hates me, Rova. Why? Because I ask the hard-hitting questions. It's a responsibility, isn't it? If you want to ask hard-hitting questions, you need to get some thicker skin. I should, but I don't know how to. Do you know how I can get some thicker skin? That's easy. I'm sure Rover has something. Rover smirks slyly at Ophelia. Huh? 
Between caring about what people think and being authentic to yourself, now we're getting deep, you need to dump all your points into being authentic to yourself. Caring about what others think, you want minus points in that. That's how you develop thick skin. Like a video game character? How is that supposed to happen in real life? Yeah, wait, wait, what's a video? Huh? <laughs> you know what? Uh, th those things the goblin made, haha. <laughs> is this not reality? The little uh, game girls or whatever. You are the one asking some deep questions now. This is reality, Roifa. Hmm. Look at this furry beast. Does it not stir up disgust in you? Not cool, man. I try not to judge, you know? Hmm. We will pair our peaceful race, only looking for people to yiff with. Some would say that isn't too peaceful. But how does one take points and put them somewhere else? What is your secret, Rover? Just keep working on yourself and have fun. You really are trying it with these racial comments. They killed me once, Ophelia. Killed me? Emotionally? In all the ways. If we did, then how are you alive right now? <laughs> he has a point. Okay, I made a deal with the devil. My friend, you are just sensitive. Gotta agree with the furry here. Hello. Hi, who are you? Name's Cass. Why do I feel like I saw you around already? Me? You? I am not anyone you know of. Fair enough. Tell me, do any of you know what secrets there may be to Silvermoon? Mr. Reporter. Well, of course. I came here looking for something, a story. I'm going to bounce. I have to sleep. Well, Rifa, it was pleasant. It was nice to meet you. Good luck to you. Work hard and don't doubt yourself. You too, my friend. You too. So, that secret. Yup, yup. Do you know of anything that could be a story? A jaw dropper? Jaw dropper? I need something. I'm desperate. I can tell. Yup, yup. Yup, yup. Why do you have a nude elf in a pair with you? I smoke shrooms with the ogres. Oh, I'm not even gonna say anything. Good experience. Who's this? I wonder what kicks would say. Sorry? You mentioned Kexel? Yes. We used to work for him? Yeah, we used to work for the HNA. Oh, you must have heard of me then. The first of his craft. The only righteous owner of that one troll reporter guy. I've heard a lot of interesting information about you. Why'd you guys leave him? I had other callings to take care of, but I still call Kexel a friend. He never really got over your first meeting with you. Kexel did not release a single newspaper. <laughs> Not a single one? Don't tell him that. Wait, he acted as the superior reporter. We never actually did any work. And you tell me. He never put out a single paper? He started writing steamy romance novels. <laughs> Steamy romance novels? Really? Yes. I guess there is more money in that field. I think our furry friend over here would agree. It is a growing market, I'm told. All the steamy romance novels. Love those. <laughs> I figured. But why though? Me neither. It's not like you can't just sum to the wrong side of Silver Moon and just watch the, well, you know. There is something that Kexel has that you don't. What would that be, Orc? His glasses, they're pretty cool. Ah, uh, you must admit. <laughs> yeah, he's got you there. I have this though. Huh? <laughs> Grongu gasps at you. Oh, fancy. I heard chatter that you are an alliance spy. Alliance spy? I am the most respected reporter in this here faction. If he is anything like Kixul, then I trust him. I'm nothing like him. Nothing. You're looking act a lot like him. Why are you so dramatic? He took my shtick. That was mine. He's the imposter. Are you alright? Did you drink something bad? I've been talking to fear creatures and book thieves all night. You think I'm alright? Yes. I don't like your pink hat. What? Did you just insult my hat? Yes, I did insult your hat. Ugh. What are you gonna do about it? What? You call me dramatic but go on to insult me like I won't get offended? Good luck with your reporting and don't get yiffed out there. Well, thank you. You two are nice. And I'll tell Kexel you said hello. <laughs> please, please don't. Who are you? Who I am? Yes. You came here, confronted me. I will leave too. And you dare to ask who I am? Well, I have my eye on you, troll. Oh, thank you, little guy. Good evening. Well, I don't know your name. Fine, pink hat then. <laughs> I'm so Kek. I'll go with pink hat. I hate you already. So Cag doesn't suit you, well I don't like you either. You have the worst of attitudes, young lady. Young, I am old. How old? Older than you. Nuh-uh. Oh, what's that? Oh, lady, this troll drank something bad. Well, I- An undead could have roofed me earlier. What? You're an undead now. Your logic makes zero sense. No, you heard me, you're not a troll. What did you drink? Water? Maybe the hat is covering my trollness. There. Do I not look like a troll to you? Bold, um, yeah, that's a whole lot of troll. Put it back on, it's too shiny. I hate it here. There. Well, me too. Happy? It's fine, Mr. Troll. Want a drink? I just wanted a goddamn story from the city. What story? And all people talk about is my hat. A story? Yes. I'm a reporter. You want a story? What story? Just any story. Oh, I see. What is there to report on here? Take a seat. Huh? Where? Over here. Okay. Alright. I took it the seat? What now? What do you have to say? Take a deep breath. Do it! Both of you. So Kag takes a deep breath. He does it. Alrighty, done. Alright, the story of my life. God damn it. It's very boring. No, 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 just kidding. Uh-huh. Sit your butt down. Why are you bossing me around like that? I feel like a toddler. Want to be one? Huh? 
This lady is really off the jokes. I mean, I think we could take care of you. That is something to be explored in the future. All right, I wandered in Amazon woods, and you see these people in Silver Moon act noble, but once you see two behind a bush, that's where your mind is changed. I witnessed it with my own eyes. Two people making the bush shake, and it haunted my sight. I thought maybe someone might be dying, but in fact, they made love. Then after that, well, I can't say no more. I have nightmares. Wow, that is profound. Ha! Ah, nice hats! Thank you! Nice mask! Are you a part of the hat cult? Sure! Let's go! Are you a part of the mask cult? I am! That is crazy! We are a clan! Are you going to eat me, sir? You look scary. Eat your... Eat your what exactly? Is this the guy you saw in the bushes? I hope you don't mean... Ahem. <laughs> My hat, obviously. Oh, no way! Oof. I'm sorry, man. Cries on your shoulder. <laughs> Give me your hat, big sad. <laughs> so you can eat mine if you want to. The hat? Yes, now eat his hat. That sounds wrong. Are we talking about hats here? I think so. Something about this city? Well, this city is fucked up. How so? Mr. Troll, I suggest you, you start running because I feel like it's gonna get worse. Nah, no, it's fine. I mean, past midnight, every weirdo pops suddenly. But what are you doing here at night all alone? Hello, and I'm just searching for my partners in crime. Who might they be? Rover? I saw him earlier, had a good chat, and he might have roofied me. Oof. <laughs> I'm not quite sure yet. It still takes some time to kick it. So I excuse you there, there. Things will be okay. You two bore me now. Have a great night. Wow. Rude. Rude. Facts? Go and find a hole to sleep in, lady. And you may want to burn your hat for the sake of saving fashion. I love that an org in a groundling mask is giving an L fashion tips. Her silence worries me. Oh, an org that cares about fashion. Want a kiss, little baby? You're cute. I laugh more at you than you do towards me, laughing skull. Ha <laughs> ha! What the hell was that? I think I broke her. Anyways, join me, new friend, for we are about to go and meet the best in town. Best in town? Siri? Huh? What was that? We have some things to settle. What the? Do we? This is our local sister. She can bless you. That sounds wrong. I didn't say stepsister. <laughs> I do feel stuck in life. Meet my friend here. Hello. Like my hat? He knows a thing or two about fashion. I'm an icon. I <laughs> claps excitedly for you. Hey, hey, are you? They call him Mr. Bombastic back in his tribe. <laughs> Yeah, you don't think that's obvious? I mean, the suit is nice, but why that stupid hat? Sorry? Your hat, I would say it looks rather pointless, but that would be a lie. If I could stare you down with this hat on, I would. Why wear a hat if you can't see anything? So you can get blind benefits to block out views like you. Oof. So I swear to the side of you. <laughs> say that again? Uh, I, you, ha, <laughs> yes. Uh, thought so, ha. <laughs> Anyways, you fine? I'm good, yes, just came here from Stormwind. Why would you go to that boring place? From Stormwind? To find a Draenei? Do you need her horns for a new necklace? Sorry? Do you not like Draenei? I do, I like the thighs. Ah, a man of culture. Mm, very juicy. <laughs> she she blesses him. It's the legendary reporter. Reporter? Y yes Oh yeah, you undercover. I mean, I'm always looking for a story. A story, hum? Pixie? We need to make a story for this one. Let me chop your... <laughs> Be good story. <laughs> Back away, Dumpy. Yes, do it. The people love the macabre. People want me to die. Let's murder me. <laughs> oh no, Pixie, why is that? Because I'm awesome. That can't be it, come on. Is it because you're a money-hungry goblin only looking to ruin the natural world for oil? Oof. So I swear to the side of you. Rude? Do you, do you want a kiss? <laughs> you're wrong. I'm half an elf, so evil. Half elf? That didn't go into your height, huh? It's all good, Sean. It's kind of better. Pixie boops your nose. You can't even reach my nose. Oh, but I did. Dark magic, you hunch. Hunch? Listen, I can fold out my back. Here, look. Okay, there. Or oh, give him the backbreaker. <laughs> the backbreaker sounds sexual. Sorg blinks at you. But if it's from Sorg, I'm intrigued. He does great massages. It's getting hot in here. You, me? I have a good story for you. Go on. So my sister and I came here recently after being away from the city for years, and we got treated like shit because we're Quel'Dorai. Sister? Is she good looking? <laughs> we are allowed to be here. We have papers and everything, yet we get discriminated. I wouldn't call that a good story. It's a horrible one, perhaps. Horrible cells. But maybe a story that would finally wake people up to see that not all of us are part of the Alliance. High Elves, weren't your people also discriminated by the Alliance? Is there anywhere you can go to? Anywhere that's safe? I'll slap you so hard, I'm going to punch you to the sun well. <laughs> What are they doing over here? Well, yes, Dalaran and other neutral cities, but the point is we are allowed here, and people don't seem to accept this. Would you be offended if I said that elves are evolutionary aggressives from trolls? Oof. Why would I be offended by someone's opinion? You are free to have your own thoughts. Oh, wow. I... I might... might have been too locked into what I believe. Your openness. It... are you fine? Are you having a stroke? Does it smell like toast in here? <laughs> It shows me that perhaps I was the aggressive one. Maybe hi. Are you quite all right? Hmm. God, my whole world falling apart just now. You aren't that bad. You're kind. Welcome back. It's fine, big boy. Sit down before you have a breakdown. Of course we aren't. Uh, I'll sit down. Damn. All these years. Do you need water or anything? I... 
would like a cold glass of water. Puss. <laughs> Sarah, keep an eye on the troll. I'll go get some water. I'm rather curious, yes. Curious? What? Don't worry about it. Sarah Aliak would gently pat you. Are you gonna study me or something? Siri returns with a glass of cold water. Here you go. So Kak takes the water, nods at Siri. Are you worth studying? Alright, that's up to you. He definitely is. Look at his hat choice. That is really weird. <laughs> I mean, I'm nothing but a humble reporter. I don't know. What will we find out about you? That is quite the hat choice. Why is all people can mention about me my goddamn clothes? Nothing wrong with the hat. I am more than my choice in clothing. It just means you're making an impression. I am more than that, okay? I don't even know what his point here. Your ears to that. <laughs> Then you gotta prove it. The clothes reels them in. After that, you gotta dazzle them. Is that why you have a top hat? Exactly. Huh. I just assumed it created status. Brings the people in, then I hook them with a sail or my natural form. You're charming? Show us your charm. When I choose to be, bring it on. Choose to be right now. I have no desire to charm you. What, am I not charm worthy? I don't want to sleep with you or sell you anything. Is that the only thing you goddamn wrote and still? Yef. And sell stuff? <laughs> Oh damn, uh, I guess. Ahem, don't want to disturb anything here, but uh, may I ask what, what business does the Quelvai have in the city of the Cinderai that belongs to the Horde? Ah, god damn it! I was born here and I'm allowed to be here. That's right! Tell him, Siri! The Quelvai was banished from the city. Why do you hate these wonderful people? I thought we trolls were the words here. I never said I did, I was simply asking a question. Aha, uh -huh. a loaded question. Hey, big boy, calm. I can't take this, Siri. You opened my eyes. I need to open others. Be careful, your blood pressure. I don't have eyes, you know that, right? I'll open something else, then. What do I know? Wait, what? Her legs? <laughs> Goddamn furries all I think about is sex. I was thinking her mind. They're gonna open her head? In the most civil way. What be nicer than Amma? I don't even know what you just said. Use a soul, be more civil than Amma. Ah. Man, I really lost touch with my roots. Can see that. What tribe do you come from? Was born into the profession that I now travel the world with. Always neutral. Always seeking the truth. A noble goal indeed. Any of you know of any stories I can look into in this here city? Rassi's a fun subject. She's pretty insane, but she's a good person. Where is that girl? <laughs> there she is. What? What? Oh, oh Rassi? What is it? Hello, Orasi. Hello, Kixul. Kixul? Kixul? I am not Kixul. I only know the one story called Waves of Desire. Waves of Desire? Waves of Desire? Is that a steamy romance novel? But you wear the same thing plus a hat. Kixul took my entire thing. Oh, I see. He's my arch nemesis. So, what's up? Well, Orasi, who are you? I'm Orasi. Orasi giggles at you. Well, I know that much. Well, I'm Orasi and I have one eye and two daggers and I look funny. And I like bad jokes. Tell me about the stabbings. <laughs> the stabbings? Should I tell me about the stabbings? People get angry. What the hell is this place? It's just a crime hub. This is a terrible place, but... Uh -huh. If you want to hear about the stabbings, yes, we can tend to that. Uh, personally? You stab me? Sure up for it? <laughs> I'll do it for free, depends. What type do you like? <laughs> I think he wants to stab you. The hell is this? I mean, I'm not here to stab some weird looking weird eyed elf. Maybe he's into weird. Hey, pst, he's a good guy. Don't stab him, please. You are into his hat choice is weird though. <laughs> Orasi, why do you want to stab people like so? Reporter, why? And call me Soulcack. Because when you pierce through it calms things. Things? So Cack, that's a terrible name. <laughs> Siri, your friend here is wildly rude. Okay, I'll call you Siri. <laughs> No, how about tusks? Listen here, Elf, I'll stab you with my tusk if you don't stop messing around with me. Yeah? Hey! What the hell? Hey, you trying to steal? What the hell are you? Maybe, do you have one of those gob phones? <laughs> she trying to bet you. She wants you to stab her with that third tusk, goddammit, his nose? How can this monster just be left to roam around this place? It's because I'm beautiful. You'll see the third tusk. Okay, take off your pants. You first. What's happening? I, I ain't taking off my pants. Oh no, I have no clue. You're taking off your pants, and I'll take off my shoulder pads. This is a stripping game now? Sure. I came here to just report. Okay, what do you want to report about? I don't know, your stabbings? Okay, let me get down the least of about the 474 people I stabbed. Are you just here to mess with every single person around you? I'm a mess by default. Tell me, how did you become this way? There's a story here. Oh, you know, nice childhood whispers, all that kind of stuff. Add them up, and you end up with a fucked up mind. That is quite edgy. I know, right? All right, how about you put down your weapons? I'll put down my weapons if you're lying on the ground. All right, there. Unequip. Okay, kitty time. No, let the people feel at peace. I need that. Both of them? Please don't kill him. No, I'll get an infection. Please don't. 
Fine, fine. The hell? Siri, you are Siri. I'm not Siri. She's insane. I want your hat. Why do you want my hat, Furball? You called me here for me to talk about damn stabbing. Excuse me? I have a name. What the hell is going on? I have no idea what's happening anymore. What is happening? I called you here. Soon to be meal. Well, Paris, my race, not Furball. Well, same thing, no? Why would she? Zorok, help me. Zorok gas at you. Do something about this Arasi. What's going on? Take her skull. Zorok, it's time to let the whispers guide you. You let me keep my skull. Let them control you just this once. How did you break my troll friend? I'll let you keep breathing, okay? If my friend Sora takes your skull, I will have trouble breathing for laughing too damn hard. Time out! Why don't we just have drinks? Okay, if you're paying. Water on me. Glasses of water for these gents. We are dehydrated. She took my kidney. I was about to take your kidney. Want to take pixies? What? She'll be easy to slice. Oh man, so many threats of violence tonight. Come here. Why? She wants your soul. Why would I? Because I said so. For? So she wants you. Oh, she wants that troll meat. Yes, I want you. Oh, let's go. We hooked him up. Poggies. Speed dating. Ah, so, ah, you like the weather? Fell, yeah, I do. Ah, uh, what's your favorite color? Red and orange. Ah, <laughs> cool, cool. Mine? Ah, uh, um, nice color. Blue. <laughs> Blue. Yeah. Um, so cag is it? Yes. It's Siri. No, it's not. It's a shame you were not here a few days ago. What happened then? We had a man in a dress run around. Ah, oh, Kixul was here, huh? Aha, I knew so the moon was cursed. Narishi, how didn't you know that before now? Look at this place. Look at my fiance here. It's all madness. Why are you talking to the food? My boyfriend got so intoxicated that he wore a black dress and wandered the city with an oracle mistook him for a woman. Now that would have been a good story. It was me who got him to wear the dress. You know you taste like tender wolves with boiled for 40 minutes? You talk about this crazy dress story while you have a friend who is literally stealing kidneys, stabbing people, and talking to Vulpera like they're meat. Aren't they meat? Dot dot dot. Well, you have a point, but I mean, I honestly, I had no idea she did these things. It just came out just now? That can sound awfully wrong. Well, I think it's kind of spicy. I may be into it. I know more of your kin has been eaten than mine, so it's fine. I know, right? But sadly, I never ate a blood elf to know the taste. Not too late to try. Indeed, I'll use this Vulpera here, your kidney, and some elf's arm, and then feed it to you. <laughs> that is awesome. Yeah. I like this, Orasi. No, let me make fun. Ah, okay. Right. It's a date then. Whoa! When and where? I'll bring the cauldron. Are we going to a witch meetup or what? Witch meeting? That's just Friday for me. I guess I can accept that one flaw in you. Honey Plum, I'm supposed to be your absolute. Get down now so I can take another organ as punishment. I'll even let you choose. Whoa! Down! I never get to choose. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. What type of bondage stuff is this? <laughs> okay, choose. Ah, uh, come along. How about. I never use my gallbladder, all right? Take that one. Okay, we're taking your toes instead. <laughs> That's not even an organ. The weird backwards toe. <laughs> yes, but it also makes your decision useless. God damn it. I like that toe. Did we ask you to stand up? This is not very Parker's. Lie down. Okay, okay, just take out your paper thing and get to writing. Ahem. Uh, before I start, actually, what's the theme of your report? I don't even know. Okay, pick a theme. Uh, Halloween. Christmas. Oh, Arasi blinks at you. Oh, winter well. <laughs> Okay. Love is in the air. Winter well or love is in the air? I guess love is in the air makes sense. Okay. Love is in the air is a very nice day here in Silver Moon. I figured. The first place you've got to visit is the bazaar very late at night. Yep. When people go to that bar to find things to drink. Let's say that thing goes to the bazaar. Yes, late at night. Trust me, it wouldn't be a pair afterwards. <laughs> Narishi attempted to buy Slokak's middle finger. Stop! You caught me a furball again, I think. No, I didn't. Furballs. Listen, sir. Yeah, sir. Sir? You're married to a sir? Is that a problem? You should have known me better. All those hours we spent in bed together speaking about our features. Hey, I just never noticed. Future? How could you? Listen, I just focused on your personality. Orasi gasps at you. No, you cheated. No, please. Listen, all the organs I've given up for you. Orasi fakes a sniff. You think I'd do that for anyone else? I know him better than he does. You trolls regrow organs. You just gave some to some others. Pixie, how about we ditch that ass and go to a honeymoon? Sounds like a plan. Let's go. What? <laughs> Pixie waves at you. I, us two and our organs. We are lovers now. Oh, okay, what? It's just her head is twice the size of yours. You don't match at all. It's actually true. Big brain. It looks horrible. Hey, mind your tongue. Her ears aren't even half as long as mine. Okay, just out of curiosity. You? It's not about size. Sit next to Pixie. Compare head sizes, yeah. <laughs> there you go. We, we uh, Here we have the head sizes here. Uh, yeah, she, uh, yeah, she has a bigger head than I do. I think. Oh my god, without the hat you look uh, like tenfold ugly. <laughs> What? You say you know me? I never said anything, I promise. And you seem surprised at how I look without a hat? Yeah, all those years you never took it off. That doesn't even make any sense. I thought it was part of you. No, lady. You knew. 
Oh, now my lady? Not a sir? I was doing it sarcastically. Yeah, 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 yeah. I thought you knew my sense of humor. You wish, Rassy. You have humor? What? I tell you the jokes from the funny toilet paper every day, and you give me this. All the times I've made you mildly giggle. Do you remember that day in the toilet and the sausage? Bald dude. Yes. Can I get you a hat? Nope. Why not? Give him your hat. Why? Because he loves you. Would you come back home again? I he's coming home with me. I don't have a home. Hey, with me, you're always home. Okay, that was a good line from him. <laughs> Bit of fight over it. Pixie, it's time. Time? Oh no. They're going to kiss. We're gonna fight. We have to fight for the spot or that. But how? Okay, you get the first punch. No, 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 no. Whoever is the tallest wins. Wait, don't eat me. Well, I guess I lose. Yep. Or is he? Or has he go home with him? He loves you deeply. I do. I had damn places all my bets on you. You spent our fortune betting on her? Or as his size of Pixie, I give up. Are you two actually together? I'm confused. Nah, I don't even know anymore. I'm giving him false hopes. What? All those, all those nights. The beach walks. Or as his size at you? All a lie? I'm sorry, little bugger. Ah, all a lie. I, you lied to him. I, that's the part you wear your hat and walk towards the sunset. The hat is nice. I, you. No. Yes. No. Yes. Lady, I love you at least. Uh, maybe he's hiding stuff under his shirt too. I need to. Yes, he's hiding his organs. I can't be here. I can't look at her. <laughs> oh, Rassy blows your kiss. So yeah, that was a bit random and didn't really have any kind of focus, but I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. And uh, well, I'm just trying to, to do something, okay? And I'm walking into a bench. Um, goodbye. Ah! Shit, dude. What up, guys? <laughs> That's so fucking weird. Because only a... This is you, chat. Next time, okay? Next time I'm coming Fuck. to you. Oh, Kat, you're so mean to chat. Shut up. Do you have an issue with me wanting to become a Draenei and standing Gold Cheyenne with my food a cock? Bye bye, chat. Bye bye.